Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where last time we were making a pretty shoddy attempt at uh, doing all these test programs here. Um, leaving us in a, a place where we didn't actually make it up to orbit, which is a little bit rubbish. Um, sorry, just going to clear all these out. Literally our only contract uh, left to us right now is to achieve a stable orbit. Now, I'm fairly sure, given the science that we've got, that we can do that relatively easily. Um, if, if, if I can't, then something's gone badly, badly, badly wrong. Uh, we're going to have a quick look in here, see if there's anything really worth doing. Radial parachutes? Um, any specifics that it needs to be checked? No, not really. So I've had a quick look through and literally all we're going to do is grab this Separatron landed one to give us an extra six science when we're there. We're just going to like put that on a lift clamp and put that as our first thing. So there we go, right. And all we're going to do is uh, try and try and get some orbit. Um, when we get up into orbit, we're going to see if we can get a contract for um, any science or stuff up there. Oh, this isn't the, paint, the screen of what it's going. Um, yeah, and we'll see if we can earn some extra, extra monies when we're up there. Right, so we're going to go for a standard sort of pod design. Um, put this one on here, uh, we have a parachute there, and then on the other side, I noticed pretty early on in the game that this and the parachute kind of weigh almost the same, um, making this kind of set up for the pod my preferred uh, build. Right, let's get this Ooh, no, pointed up like so. Okay, so that, that that's our standard, I'm going into orbit pod. Uh, the reason I put two parachutes on there, it's not so much for this point of the game, but later on when you put a uh, materials bay underneath, this this will almost guarantee its safe return. Because um, at the moment, if you did it just with this parachute, uh, trust me, it would crash and destroy itself. Okay, so, as that's all we're bringing back, we'll stick in, stick in a decoupler there. Uh, and now we need a, a, a vessel that is capable of orbit. So we're going to go that and, and that. There we go. That That's that first bit done. Nicely taken care of. Stacked a coupler. Uh, I think we could all see the, 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 the plan I'm going for here. Um, we're going to have, like, this is my orbiting stage. We would normally have an interplanetary stage in between, but we're just going to skip that because all we're doing is going for orbit. So we're going to look straight at making a, a main stage. Uh, do I have fuel lines yet? No, I do not. Okay, that's going to make things a little bit more awkward. But, you know, it's early on in the game. We can we can do things like this. Uh, let's go for... Yeah, three three sounds good with, a, with, with an engine like that. Yeah, that, that, that works for me. Um, so, radial decouplers. Uh, we can't do asparagus at the moment, so we're just going to stack a load on like that. Um, and now what we want to do is stick a smaller set uh, like basically a copy of the, oh, in fact, if we take this off, no, not that, these off, grab a copy of that, just do that. Oh yeah, that's, that's much easier. Wow. Pop that on there. Are these two close together? Are they good enough? I think they're good enough. Uh, and then a small fuel tank. Um, I know these are nearly the same, but this is just to give us some sort of like validity to our staging. Um, it's a lot of engines though, let's, uh, in fact let's just go without that, let's see, let's see if that will do it. Uh, and then we want to put some solids uh, around that. So we're going to do exactly the same here, just slap them on and pop them on. Alright, okay, so nothing fancy but then we are pretty early on in the tech tree. I, I, I can't see us doing too much more with what we've got. Can't seem to get this perfectly straight. Let's just line that up right. That may or may not make it. I don't. I don't feel overly confident, but uh, let's, let's let's see what happens. Hey, let's delete that control zone. Right. So the naming ceremony of the craft will follow rearranging the staging. So we want all these bottom engines firing at the same time. Uh, nice sequential decouplings. Okay, right, cool. Uh, we're gonna call this systematic errors. There we go. Well, that that will do. I probably spelled it systematic wrong, but that's that that's all right. Let's go. 
so the one thing we've not done is attach a separatron, so that's that's rubbish. <laughs> we've messed up straight straight away from the word go. Um, okay, so we, we should actually look at the contracts. I should get into the, the habit of doing this every time I find myself here instead of instead of just going, alright, let's go, we should go, right, look at the contracts. What I need to do is put on some I don't have any landing clamps. Okay, so we're gonna put on a separatron here. The, these can uh, help start the the, the the flight that sounds good to me right let's go hey welcome back to the launch pad so separatrons have been added um press t and go yeah i'm sure these are making a massive uh increase to the, the amount of delta v that I, i'm capable of putting forth uh and we're just going to um cruise on up to our ooh, ooh, i'm not sure if my ship design is good enough to be time accelerated but we're just going to cruise on up to about 10 10 kilometers let's just pull over a little bit more to our 90 degree angle because um, you know the, the planet sp spins in this direction which means that we've already got a bit of an orbital velocity in this direction so it's easier just to add on to this than to try and um, like nullify it and then go back the other way that's why everyone goes well east if you're wondering okay so 10 kilometers up, we're gonna lean on over. Everything's going well, Jebediah seems to be quite happy and the view to the floor is getting more and more distant, which is what we want. So, we're waiting for all these to, to burn down and hopefully we should have a nice, nice high altitude separation to be done. I'm not sure why I'm not at full throttle yet. Uh, I like, well, on these tiny, tiny, bits here I like to punch up my my velocity as fast as possible uh, I know on the larger ones um, air resistance is a, is a real issue here um, I know I should be traveling up at terminal velocity so like whatever speed I would be falling through this this, this layer of the atmosphere um, but I, I've got a lot of fuel on board at the moment um, to be honest this should hopefully be enough fuel on board to get us into orbit i am a little bit apprehensive oh uh, maybe i shouldn't have been because there we go that the, that's quite a high quite a high up apple apps there if we could just get, get our peri apps around i didn't quite mean to put my apple apps up that high but i've been i've been too used to having the void there obviously with the the upgrades uh the yeah the update patch uh i had to take all all my um all my mods off. Uh, to be fair, I was saying that the Kerbal only really told me that a, a couple of the mods were uh, incompat incompatible. But I thought it best to, you know, err on the side of caution here. I don't want like some some weird undefinable error to creep up on me at some point just because I didn't delete some stuff out of my folder. That that would have been pretty rubbish. Okay, so a little bit past the point where I wanted to burn, but that's all right. And we're just going to push ourselves up into a standard orbit. It looks like we're going to get our first bit of space debris as well, which is always nice. Um, actually, this could possibly end up going into the into the atmosphere. But who knows? We'll have to find out. Wait and see. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to end up actually bringing this into orbit with us and probably using it to deorbit, which means we'll try and bring this middle stage back with us so we can uh, get the... Uh, get the the monies back for it. It's all about the monies Well, at least it is nowadays, right? That's good enough close enough to a decent orbit for me. That's a hundred hundred kilometers, right? Um, that that's all these met right. We're gonna go to the uh, space center and have a look All right in here. Do we have any new science data from around space? That's exactly the sort of thing we're looking for uh, Explore the money is what we'll be doing next time rescue someone from orbit unfortunately I've only got one capsule. So again, this will be next time. What we'll do is we'll rescue Matey from orbit and then we'll go to the Mun with him. Possibly send him to the Mun instead or maybe get him on the way back. I don't, I don't know what the plan is, but there will be a plan there. Um, so we're gonna do some science from orbit and then we're gonna bring this guy back. And maybe we'll just have uh, a short episode today as it is just literally finishing off the the contract that I should I should have I should have had it done second second flight I'm not I'm not sure what what went so horribly wrong um, well the want of testing that's what went so horribly wrong all right so we're gonna just basically use the fuel that we've got to pull this back down and uh, that, that should probably do it I'm thinking hopefully if 
we do, if we do it like this and then yeah do, do, do it like that 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 should do us okay so we're facing in the right direction we're just gonna blitz around our orbit um, now I nearly did my usual mistake of jumping a step uh, but we will stop here we we down at normal velocity we're going to observe the mystery goo boom science we're going to get a crew report science we're going to get Jeb out to do an EVA report oh did my comms unit just do that I thought I'd uh, selected to, to store it but there we go yeah crew report yeah I did alright well there we go we've done that reward as well which gave us a whole load of money and some little bits of science and lots of prestige I'm not sure what prestige is going to be used for yeah it doesn't seem to actually have a uh, oh, pressing the wrong buttons uh, it doesn't seem to actually have a, a like a valid game mechanic associated with it at the moment um, I'm sure that will come next update or maybe I'm just missing something you know I've not really had a proper play um, with it yet I, I, I do have a, a casual game that I've been playing and uh, you know I've gone to the moon and, and I haven't quite gone to Juna yet that is kind of my next target uh, but uh, yeah I've not really fully explored all the game's functions here um, which I should I'm sure I'll be doing most of it on camera so you can all have a laugh at me as I'm like oh what's going on here uh, with your hindsight and prior knowledges well, right so here we go we're we're on a nice nice aero braking landing type burn we might even be able to get this thing down with us I'm sure it's gonna like properly explode in our faces but if we use all this one for braking then maybe these top ones can can just have a nice landing or we could go to the Mun no I don't think I don't think we should go to the Mun uh, right let's pump up into to, to time warping up uh, about there I think though this is not the direction I want to face this is the direction I want to face because we want to stop ourselves as soon as we start seeing the uh, continental uh, lip over over here because I always manage to totally overshoot the the, the space center and and I really want to try and bring it down somewhere close just just somewhere close well, we're red barring it all the way across, which means uh, some serious physics isn't actually getting calculated. But it's either we do this or we're going to have to take like four times the amount of time to get round there. Because we're, we're coming in underneath the, the atmosphere already quite quite a lot, actually, to be fair. We're, we're 50, 40 kilometers up, yeah, um, and, and dropping all the time. All the t I mean, look at, look at that. Okay, so this is our next target. We're going to the Mun next. Um, do you think we should do anything fancy at the Mun, or should we just like send a single, single lander over? Uh, I'd like to take some. Oh, look at that skybox issue. I'd like to take uh, a rover of some description that our Kerbal can sit in and and have a bit of a a mooch around. Maybe do some different, uh, different biome sciences. Okay, so I can see the. See the the continent over there. We're gonna we're gonna think about just burning off all the fuel that we've got. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Let's let's burn off all this fuel, and we will start rearranging our staging. Maybe um, what we want is this to come down below that, because we're possibly not gonna fire the stage. I'd like some engine control, so we'll do that. Let's see what our trajectory is set. At. It's not ideal not ideal I think we once again are going to overshoot quite a bit uh, this is dropping quite fast and that is also dropping quite fast will deploying parachutes at this point have any any effect I don't know but that that's also means we'll have to be waiting around for a hell of a long time um, so let's ooh, I don't know whether I want to have all this extra stuff underneath to induce drag or whether the fact that I'm heavier means my inertia is going to stop the drag. Uh, if anyone has an actual answer for that, I'd, I'd like to know quite a lot, um, to be honest. I think that would be a useful thing to know in said situations. Oh, this is So we're coming down over the top quite fast. I think we may actually overshoot. Um, I think we may. I think we might not. Let's... let's 
Can we zoom in and have a look? Unfortunately, it's taken me like the majority of the day to get around it. That's where we're aiming for. You can see that little glistening dot over there. I think we're gonna miss that a little bit, but we should come in maybe on the ground. It's it's starting to look like it might be a ground landing. Um, let's let's get a bit more time acceleration on it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're coming in. Yeah, we're coming we're coming in fairly fairly well. Uh, it's the sort of sort of angle I can deal with, and we're going to land uh, in the grasslands by the looks of it, which which is nice. Uh, could definitely be a lot worse. Okay, we're we're down quite deep. Let's uh, get a look in here. We've turned off the time acceleration. The radar altim altimeter always oh, um, actually starting to have a little bit of a moan at me. Let's just pop this under there. Open up some parachutes. All right, now we now we have a serious question of how hard we're going to hit the ground. Let's uh, pop that. Why is this not going to pop? There we go. Pop that. That should hit the floor at a rate seven meters per second. I reckon we can probably put down on seven meters per second. I'd like to do it a little bit less than that, um, but we will see. Let's let's kill our throttle. Fire the engine. When we get down nice and close, uh, Jebediah tells us we're really close. Uh, we'll, we'll give a bit of a give a putt putt and and put ourselves up in the air. Well, uh, I say put ourselves up in the air. I mean slow our descent a little bit. All right, this is this is slow as balls. Let's uh, let's, let's move this up a bit. Right, we're at tree tree height. I think tree height's the sort of time to uh, be arresting our our. our downward velocity there we go ah yeah works for me it's kind of I would have liked to have been a little bit over but that was it yeah that'll do whatever let's do it alright awesome so we got uh, science is back 90 science so we can definitely get open up one of the next uh, tiers uh, got all this stuff uh, including all this liquid fuel and aqueduct aqueduct Oxidizer. Oxidizer? What's an oxidizer? And Jebediah came back. I should really start sending more 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 crew out. But anyway, that was a good mission. It went well. Uh, I will see you next time where we're going to do all sorts of Mun stuff. We're going to explore the Mun. We're going to rescue this guy from orbit. Uh, yeah, we, we're, we're going to just like do some contracts because you know that's what it's all about. And it also seems to advance us through the game quite a bit. Uh, do we want to spend this on this? Yes. Yes, we do. Um, that leaves us 45 science left. Probably going to get spent on that. Because support struts are the way forwards. Unless the fuel lines are anywhere around. I remember the fuel lines being relatively close. Um, Alright, I'm going to find out where the fuel lines are on the, the tech tree. I think they're after this one. Uh, but yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Next time we're going to do the month and we're going to rescue people from orbit. So, I'll see you next time when we'll do that. Bye!